So we had the question how to take one of the outline fonts and convert it into an applique. So I'm here in Premiere Plus to create, which is the digitizing module, and on the Home tab, about halfway across, there's an icon called Insert Lettering. I clicked on Insert Lettering, and I come in here, and I've already selected the Wild West, the Jupiter font. I'm going to set the size to 80, which is a little over inches tall. Even though it says 20 to 60, I know I can safely go up to 80 because it's just a triple stitch line, so it can make it pretty much as big as I want. I'm going to do the letter D. I'm going to click the insert button and then close that dialog box. Just move this kind of into the middle and then I just right click in the work area to deselect it. And now I'm going to come over here and select this triple stitch, which is the main outline. I'm going to right click in the work area to pull up the properties. And I'm going to change it from a triple stitch to a satin line. Again, I'm going to go to four millimeters so that I have a four millimeter border in my satin stitch. I'm going to go to the applique tab and tell it I just want it to be a standard applique. I'm not going to worry about the piece margin for this one. I'm just going to say make the applique piece the same part or the same size. I'm um, not going to worry about picking a fabric. This is just going to let me preview the design. I'm going to click the OK button, and now I've created that applique for the outside letter. All we need to do is add the hole in the center. So I'm going to come over to the Precise Create tab, where I can tell it exactly what I want to happen. I'm not going to work in Bezier mode this time. So I'm just going to click on the Hole button on Precise Create. And it's kinda, it doesn't matter really where I start. I'm going to just create this hole. I'm going to work a little further in than that line is around the edge. And if I were doing this for real, I would probably spend a second fine-tuning that line. But basically, I'm just going to kind of make sure it looks roundish and about the same from the top to the bottom. Nice smooth curves all the way around. And when I right-click, it's added that hole. I'm going to right-click a second time to deselect the tool. I don't need that triple stitch anymore. So now I've created this shape as an or it's turned that outline into an applique and if we go in and it's kind of, as I fine tune it it's just adjusting the space if I go into my design player now across the top click on design player same thing would happen I'm gonna see my placement line come in first after I have my placement line I would lay down my piece of, it's gonna do the inside of the outside I'll lay down my piece of fabric next thing we would see is the tack down line is going to go around both of them then I'm going to trim right at that satin line or at that double stitch and cut my fabric out and then it's going to finish it off with a satin stitch on the inside and the outside so that's all I have to do to convert that font to a applique design